Congratulations, huge year for you. Yes. World Indoor Champion, Olympic Champion. Yes. In your wildest dreams, Amar. <laughs> yes. Was this, how good what year was this? Um, it's probably one of the greatest. You know, I've, I've obviously, you know, my performances speak for itself. Um, but never in a million years would I actually envision this at such an early age. You know, so that's that's kind of what blows me away most. Um, but uh, you know, I'm eager to to grow as an athlete and I, I know that I'm capable of so much more and that's what makes it so much exciting because I know that I have so much more ahead of me so you know let's just let's just see what what God has in store you've got some major hurdles behind you last yes. year I mean most people don't get that get their career that early so yes. the pressure is off <laughs> yes what does this mean for you in the coming season the pressure is off definitely I'm um, you know I think in this sport you have to set your priorities straight and one of the priorities was to be an Olympic champion first um you know obviously I won the world record so I wanted to get the Olympic champion, you know, the Olympic thing all the way first. I know I have the rest of my career to, to go for a world record. So it's just, it's just being, you know, just prioritizing and taking steps, things one step at a time. Last year you had also an issue yeah. with your speed between the hurdles, which yes. was your greatest bugbear. Yeah. You ran well within, when, well within yourself to win the Olympic title. Yes. Have you managed now to compensate for that extra speed that you have? Yes, because now we have made a lot of changes in hurdles. Now I'm actually a seven step hurdler instead of an eight step. So now what this forces me to do, I have to drive I could not drive out the hurdle like couldn't drive to the first hurdle with eight step I used, to, I used to like you know my speed used to get the best of me so now I'm eight seven stepping which I can push a lot more and push into the hurdles and control my speed so I'm really excited about that and you know we're definitely trying to you know work with the speed and trying to you know put it together with the hurdling so of course what's the season like for you this year what have you planned that season yet or is it still a work in progress it's still a work in progress um there's a couple of meets that i'm nef you know obviously the diamond leagues that i know for sure um but you know other local meets and meets around we're still trying to decide around that based on my training you mentioned that the world record will be you'll be going for the world record this year um do you do you expect to go for it to challenge it before the world championships and if you don't get it before the world championships would you sacrifice maybe say winning a world title to get the world record? Um, I didn't say I'm going to go for it this year. I said the world record is still, um, I'm going to go after it for the rest of my career. Um, definitely if it happens, it happens. I never usually race and think about times. It normally comes. So, you know, if the world record comes, then it comes. You know, but um, as I said, I'm just taking it one step at a time and trying to put my best foot forward. You guys know how hurdling is. You have to be very technical and just focus strategically on what needs to be focused on until I'm ready to just let it go. So that being said, last year you had two races where you fell. Yes. Did that how much did that impact you going into the Olympics in terms of your confidence? Yeah, it it it, it obviously you no know, in the moment it kinda dawned on me a little bit and then I had to like, you know, really trust my character and trust my training and trust my capabilities. I know that, you know, I've been dominated all season, so I need to I just needed to rally back on that and just you know I learned a lot from it. You know, I kinda liked it because it kinda like put me under the mat a little bit, you know, it kinda took the spotlight off me so I, I kinda like proved myself you know so I, I think it was definitely a test of character and I, and I, and I, and I prevailed <laughs>